Hey, my Hardcore Heretics, it is I, your old friend Hardcore Harry. Today we're here to talk about my fat ass. So, it's no secret I'm out of shape, I'm overweight. I know I had it, well I do, I do, but the jelly is there. 241 pounds of no muscle, not an ounce of muscle on me, all fat, all jelly. So, lately I've been more uncomfortable in my own skin than I usually am. Um, I've been overweight for years. I've gone up and down. I've been in different, you know, varying stages of it. Stages of it where it's not too uncomfortable, but lately it's been uncomfortable. Like, my clothes don't fit. My shirts, it looks like I have... Because I do, but it looks like I have titties. Like, badly in some of my shirts. Uh, some of them now, because of my titties, the shirts ride up a little too high. Like, they're not super tight, but they ride up a little bit, so if I even, like, move my arms like this, all of a sudden it's halfway up my stomach, and I can't wear them anymore, obviously. And it's some of my favorite shirts, so it upsets me quite a bit, because, like I said, they're not really tight, they're just... It's just up here. Whatever's happening up here, and I mean, the bigger belly doesn't help, but whatever's happening up here just pulls it up. And... It sucks. Um, also, like, I'm constantly hot. I am constantly hot, sweaty, and uncomfortable. And I'm saying, Harry, you're wearing a freaking hoodie. Well, that's part of it. I am so uncomfortable with my skin and how I look. And my love handles are so big that I have to wear a hoodie. It's the only way that I can comfortably go outside. And I know it usually probably looks like I'm pretty confident, and I am. It's just that I don't like how it looks. Whether anybody else is saying anything or not, I look in the mirror and I don't like how it looks. And that's that's the issue. It's not for anybody else, it's for me. Um, I know a lot of you say, like, you're fine. Like, especially there's people out there that are bigger than me, wish they were my size, but I don't. I wish I was more in shape. And like I said, I know a lot of you are going to be like, don't let anybody say anything about it. Like, don't let someone fat shame you, blah, 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 whatever. And I, I appreciate that, but what else are they supposed to do? What else am I supposed to do? Be proud of it. Like, being fat and out of shape is something to be ashamed about. It's something to shame. It's not something to be proud of. And I'm all for being comfortable in your own skin. And some people are, they would be comfortable this size. I'm not. I'm not comfortable this size at all. And that's it, like, and that's the thing, like, both sides of it, you know, the media and Hollywood, they make it so if you have any chub on you, that's bad, you shouldn't do that. What, what are you thinking? But the other side of it is, you can be as fat as you want. You can be as out of shape as you want. Don't let anybody tell you you're not beautiful. That's just as bad. That's saying, it's okay to be out of shape. Go have a McDonald's fucking cheeseburger, because it doesn't matter. Go die of a heart attack, it doesn't matter. You're beautiful. And that's just as dangerous as the other one, you know? <clears throat> one side doesn't want you to be fat at all, wants you to be too skinny. The other side is like, yeah, just be as fat as you want. No, it's somewhere in the middle. So... I don't want to be fat. I don't want to get any bigger. I recently lost 10 pounds and I put almost all of it back on. I was doing DDP yoga. Not religiously, but I was doing it enough and I had not eaten. I was not eating healthier, <clears throat> but I was eating less. Not less often, but like less portion size. Um, I was still drinking pop, but I was drinking a hell of a lot less. And I still, my pop has cut down like a lot from what it used to be, but it's getting back up there and I need to like, cut it down again. I'm never going to be able to cut it out. Just like I'm never going to be able to go to Permanis and get a salad. Permanis is a Pittsburgh restaurant. Very good. If you've ever been to Pittsburgh and you haven't been there, you're missing out. Come to Pittsburgh just for Permanis, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go out to eat and get a salad. It's not ever going to happen. It's just not. I don't like salad. I don't like healthy eating. Um, I will eat healthier. And I will eat smaller portions, but I can't just, like, I, I've accepted that I can't just go healthy and I can't cut out pop completely because I need a pop with my meal at least. So, I know you're sitting saying, you want to lose weight, but you're not willing to do any of that. You'll never make it. I will, though, because I, I did. I already have. Like I said, I, that, that 10 pounds I lost was just from not necessarily watching what I was eating, but watching how much I was eating and watching how much pop I was drinking, just, you know, cutting way down on it and working out. So, I was like, I don't know if I said it already, but I was doing DDP yoga. Oh yeah, I did say it. Not religiously, but <clears throat> enough. So I'm getting back into it. I started this morning when I got home from work. 
um, which was nice. It felt really good after. I can always breathe better after too, which is something I love because I know my lungs suck, but after DDP yoga, they, I can breathe. I can breathe again. It's honestly, I get a little lightheaded sometimes because I'm not used to getting that much oxygen. Um, but I'm gonna be doing that every day after work, at least you know, on the days I don't get stuck there. Um, so that's gonna help. I'm gonna cut back down, way back down and pop again. I cut down the portions, which I really haven't been. Uh, no, our cheat days. Me and Erica go out with Carl, and we have cheat days, and uh, I get I go too. I like a cheat day is okay. They're a little more reasonable about it, you know. I am like, well, it's a cheat day. I might as well order half the menu. So I gotta be more reasonable about that portion size again. Cheat day is one thing. I gotta control a little more. But like I said, I and I started to post on Instagram. I posted my first picture on Instagram. I'm gonna start doing that. Um, kind of like the journey. But it's just I forgot to share it with you guys, you know. In case any of you are in a similar situation to me right now, but it's not so much about being fat. It is, because I don't like the way like I like the way I look, don't get me wrong, and I'll put a hoodie on and hide the giblets, you know, easily. I just I don't like having huge man boobs and I don't like having huge love handles. So when I don't wear a hoodie it looks very, very, very disgusting, at least in my opinion, so um, but it's not just about that. It's it's more about the fact that I want to be able to go run around outside and do whatever. You know, just go for a walk, run, whatever, and not die. Not have to come inside and lay down out of breath for an hour. You know, it's not quite that bad, but you know what I mean. I'd like to be able to go out and if I just you know if I choose to go play Pokemon Go for a couple hours and, and not be super hot and uncomfortable because I'm at least in a manageable weight. I'd like to be able to go to Disney this year and be more comfortable. My goal is to not have to wear a hoodie because I did last year in Disney. Granted, we're going in a cooler month, but it's still Florida, so it's going to be 80s and humid, maybe even warmer. Um, when we went in May last year, guess what I had? Sleeveless hoodie. As I said, I got to wear sleeveless hoodies or I'll... Yeah, I don't ever zip them up. Just even in the winter, I don't ever zip them up and I have the sleeves rolled up. But, like, it's still warm. Just this extra layer is still too warm. And I don't want to do that at Disney again because it was so freaking warm and I was so miserable. I mean, I wasn't. I was having so much fun that I really didn't notice. But, like, there'd be times I'd stop and just feel how miserable and warm and sweaty I was. And I don't want to do that again. I don't like having under boob sweat. You know, I don't like looking down and all of, like, there's just where the creases in my fat are, there's just sweat. It's gross. I'm sorry, I'm being really gross, but I don't like it. I hate it. I hate going to work every night where it's, it usually gets pretty freaking warm. I hate being there. Uncomfortable and sweaty and warm. And I wear shorts all year round. And there I have to wear pants, and that just makes it worse now. I'm wearing an undershirt, a polo shirt, and then some pants, and it's just too warm. So if I can shed some weight, uh, there's at least part of it right there. You know, I'm just, I'm sick of being warm, I'm sick of being uncomfortable, I'm sick of being sweaty, and I'm sick of not being able to just go out and run around if I want to. So, starting today, which it's not going to be today when you guys see it, this is actually Thursday, you're probably going to see this Saturday, but starting today, I'm getting back into it. <clears throat> uh, make sure I do DDP yoga every day, or at least every day that I can. I, I accept that there are days that I'll get mandated at work and stuck there and won't be able to. But yeah, I can accept that, and there's things I can accept and I have to accept, but at least every day that I can. And, you know, uh, I'm going to drink less pop, drink more water, eat less. So not, not less often. I still want my at least three meals a day, but, like, as opposed to a whole pizza for dinner, I'm going to have, you know, some chicken. Nice chicken meal, which is going to be just with like a ton of broccoli, which is going to be just as filling, but it's not going to be uh, quite as unhealthy. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm committing to bring to myself. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to get a lot healthier for Disney, a lot more in shape, because I would like to be, because we're going for Halloween, so I would like to be, I'd like to dress up for Mickey's not so scary Halloween party and I would like to be Captain America like Infinity War Captain America because you can't wear masks so 
unfortunately I'd have to do that, but it's still cool. Plus, I mean, that's a cooler one anyway. Beard and, and hair, like, nice long hair and nice manly beard. I could do that all day long. Damn right I can. So <clears throat> that's my goal. It's not just to be Captain America. It's to be in shape. It's to be comfortable. So there it is. That's my goal. I challenge you guys to... You know, commit to whatever goal you want to do, whether it's start a YouTube channel of your own, whether it's lose weight, whether it's put on muscle, whatever it is, whatever your goal is, whatever your dream is, I challenge you to try it. Let's do it together. So that being said, please comment down below with what you think, and more importantly with your goals, your dreams, what you want to try to accomplish and what you can commit to accomplishing put it down because if you do it in the comments if you say i'm going to do this i can try to help hold you accountable and you can hold yourself accountable because it's out there online for my whole 123 subscribers to see and you know, other people will see because other people view it anyway if it's not just all my subscribers of you plenty of non-subscribers of you too so it'll be there for everybody to see you'll be held accountable you'll have to do it or you'll be a liar um, and just keep checking, like, honestly, keep checking in. Keep coming back to the comments of this video. Comment, you know, today, put your goal. And every couple weeks, every week, whatever, how often you, how, every day if you need to, or however often you need to do it, come back with your, with your, uh, you know, your status, with your progress. Let me know how it's going. I'll try to let you guys know. Instagram's the best way to do it. Hardcore Harry Instagram, too. But that's the best place to check because I'm probably going to do a weekly picture. And, uh, you know, let you know how the weight's going. So, let me know how you guys do it. Drop some likes, because that's important. Don't dislike this. Why would you dislike something like this? You'd be an asshole if you dislike this. A huge, a, a huge asshole if you dislike this. You'd be Roseanne Barr. Subscribe if you haven't already. I know you have. I know you have, but for those of you that are new, just subscribe, because you know you want to. Look at his face. Face is already perfect soon. We'll have to look at that. Oh yeah, just one more thing because I completely forgot about it. This is the whole reason why I'm like, you know, I need to get in shape. So as I've said in my shoe unboxing videos, which if you haven't watched, go ahead and watch. I have a new setup and I don't like to mess with it. Like camera wise, I don't like to mess with it. I have it on a tripod behind the monitor and I don't like taking it down. Um, so when I was doing my shoes on the feet and trying them on, Rather than bring the webcam down to him like I did in my very first shoe unboxing, I just kind of stuck my feet in the air. And while doing that, I'll just do a little example here for you. Especially without the hoodie. Like, I just looked at myself and I'm like, that's disgusting. Look how freaking fat I am. So that's kind of what made me want to make this video. So, forgot to mention that earlier. Anyway, like I said. Comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Share, because sharing is caring, and it helps me get out there, and I'd really like to get out there. I'd really like to get big with this thing. I'd like to take off. I'd like to be able to... I was just, like, thinking about the other day. I know this is rambling. Again, it's the outro. I'm supposed to be letting you guys go now, but I was just thinking about the other day. I don't know. I was, like, in this perfect state, because I was meditating, which I started doing, admittedly, because I want to get good at video games, and apparently some really good video gamers meditate, <clears throat> so I'm trying to into a more calm state of mind when I'm playing video games because I get all riled up. But anyway, I was meditating. <clears throat> like, the weather was perfect, the wind was perfect, and it just felt great. And then later on that morning on the way home, just the weather and everything felt perfect. Everything felt great. And it didn't feel like I was here in Pennsylvania. It felt like I was in, like, Northern California or somewhere like that. Just how everything felt. And I'd kind of like to be. I'd kind of like to be all over the place and I'd like to travel, maybe move out west. I don't know, but... That kind of all hinges and falls on this thing taking off. So share, because that really helps the possibility of that taking off, that it's taking off and that happening for me. Um, no, most importantly, though, more importantly than any of that, don't just have a great day. Have a hardcore day.